this was a reading month of highs, lows, and everything in between. So yeah, this video is not going to be as long as my usual review video, um, unless I start to ramble a bit. You know, I do do these <laughs> um, with the intention of kind of expanding on my reviews. The point is, is I wrote really short reviews this month, just because this was kind of a dud of a month for me when it comes to reading. I'm still on track with my challenge. So if you saw the Goodreads wrap up, you know that. So I'm just going to get right into it. What I actually read and completed in the month of May. I'm going to start with my high of the month. I read In Darkness, The Shark. This is um, the second book in this novella series by L. Um, Diane Wolf. I did give it an overall star rating of five. Let me pull up my review here. Like I said, it's very short. Um, I did not write a lot of long reviews this month. All right, so actual rating of 4.5. The only reason this delightful short isn't a five-star read is simply because I felt the climax and turning point happened too close together at the end of the story. The ending seemed to come too soon. It's a pacing issue. I wish I knew more about the why of the climax, but that isn't a big enough problem to change the fact that I thoroughly enjoyed reading this. I look forward to others in the series. Highly recommend it. So yeah, this was a very different kind of story. Um, it's basically the story of a young woman who works in like an aquatic type center and she meets a shark and they develop a friendship. And I won't say more than that, but it was just, it was just not what I was expecting. And whenever I can read something or watch something, just consume something and it, and it actually surprises me, I like that. I think I've just read and seen too many things so where a lot of times I'm just not surprised but this story surprised me it was really not what I was expecting it to be and it was really good um I do wish that kind of the way it ended there had been like a little bit of a and I get that it's supposed to be short so I think an, a, I feel like for me another page or two would have kind of given a little bit more development to just how it ended but even with that, I really enjoyed this. It was a nice little refreshing read in the midst of me kind of having a rough month of reading. So I enjoyed it. I've already pre-ordered the next book and I'm looking forward to it. So there you go. That was my high of the month. All right. So now I'm going to get into my low of the month. The Brides of Maricor by Gregory Maguire. Um, this one is a spinoff from the Wicked Years series. I'm a huge fan of that series. I mean, I pretty much enjoy all things Oz, but of course his take is a little bit darker, a little bit more adult. So, um, it is what, it's what the musical, the Wicked, um, the musical Wicked, the first book is based off is, oh, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm like all tongue tied right now. Anyway, the point is, so I read all four books in that original series and I love them. So when this spinoff was announced, I was like, I got to get on this. I'm all about it. And I read it and it's not bad. It's just not good, I guess. Not to say that it's not good. I just was, I don't know. Let me, let me just read my super short review and then expound upon that. So let me pull it up. I didn't even have to, you know how when you are reading like the description of something, you have to click to see more. I didn't even have to click to see more on this. So here's what I have, three stars. This was an okay read, which is saying a lot since I was expecting it to be amazing. Huge fan of the Wicked Year series. This came off a little flat. It's an interesting story, but not interesting enough to enthrall me. Um, there was some humor, some intrigue, some innuendo. I'm kind of interested in what happens next, but I'd also be okay with never knowing. Recommend it if you love this author and or this fictional world, but otherwise it's a pass. So I did go ahead and get the second book because like I said, I am kind of interested, but again, that's, that has more to do with the fact that I'm invested in this world that the um, author has created. I'm already invested like in this character. I didn't get the next book because I'm like a super fan of this book. This book was just okay. It was not by far the worst thing I've read this year. So I don't want to mislead you in that regard. 
but this one was like a three. It was an okay. I mean, it was not a waste of my time in any way whatsoever, but I was just really hoping and expecting this to like wow me. And so it didn't wow me, but that's okay. So that was my low of the month, which for considering it's a three, that's not a bad low to have. And so here is something in between. I read Leela Lou's Little Library, A Griff from the Heart. This is a picture book. I've been threatening for months to read a picture book and I finally did it. I gave this an overall star rating of four. Again, another super short review. Um, I'm just, just where I am right now. I usually prefer to write longer reviews, but hey, this is where I am right now. Accept me as I am. <laughs> so here's my four star review for Leela Lou's Little Library. This is a fun and bright read. I love the theme and the message. I like that it also has rhyming in it, but I wish it was more consistent with that. Um, it, it did not read well as an ebook, but I can imagine it being much more enjoyable in print. Highly recommended to reading fans, fans of diverse characters, and fans of vibrant illustrations. So this one, well, I so I I do this a lot because I work with children I'll download a lot of ebooks um, that are picture books and if I feel like they're worth the investment I'll actually buy the print book and you know use that in my line of work so I have tons of picture books that are in ebook format for that reason it's basically like research for me before I decide that I want to invest in the print book I don't mind spending a few dollars sometimes I can get them for free but that anyway so this is one of those books that I can definitely see working out much better in print because it was kind of difficult to read it on the um in, in as uh, <laughs> as an ebook. But again, so that was my high, my low, and something in the middle of what I actually read in the month of May. Sorry, I'm a little late, but at least I still got it fairly before the official mid mark for the month of June. So I'm curious to see how I'll, um, what I'll have to share with you guys next month. Um, what did you think about what I read? Have you read any of these things? I would love to know your thoughts. What are you guys reading? And that's all I have. So until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay, bye.